Hi, this is Don from Shotgun. I'm going to show you some screen designs we've been working on for some upcoming features that allow you to format your pages in Shotgun. Here we are on a task page. And if you right click on the column header, there's a new menu here called Format. And there's some choices here. Column header formatting, cell formatting, or change the formatting with rules. So let's click on the column header formatting. And up comes the dialog. And we can see here that we can now control how the header looks. Uh, the text color, the text style, bold, italics, underline, or strike through, a background color, and an option to make the columns double tall with text wrapping. And then below here we'll show a live preview as you make choices. We have a new color picker here that uh, gives you a, a bigger choice of colors when you're dealing with colors. Now on back to our menu, let's choose cell formatting. And it's really the same thing. So we just get options to change all the cells on the page to explicit formatting. What if you want to do rule-based formatting? Well, there's an option here that you can choose that brings up a dialog where you can have multiple rules all working on the same field or on the same column. Now, these rules can be toggled on or off. And you can drag and drop the order. Now, the order helps us to figure out what to do if there's a conflict. The one on top will always win. We'll see a description here with a preview of the formatting with the background color, the text color, and style. Option to edit, duplicate, or delete. Now if you click Add a New Rule, you get a dialog like this that it allows you to define a query. By default, it's choosing the field that you're on, but you can make the query on any field. Uh, and you can add as many query rows as you want. This allows you to do things like, say, if the end date is before today, but the status is not yet final, then we want to make the cell color red. So below here, you can define what the style should be if this condition is met with a preview. And then below, you can fill in a description that we'll use for a tooltip and the legend. If you don't fill one in, we'll try and figure out a good one based on uh, these two things, the query that you put together and the formatting. Uh, but you can override that and make nice compact descriptions. Here's another option with checkboxes. So that's all page specific formatting, which is handy for doing specific reports. But what if you want to do rule based formatting that exists throughout the entire system? Well, we're exploring that option as well. You can right click on the column and here there's a configure field option. So this is where you can configure the options of the field itself. Uh, we've updated the layout here, so we have tabs. First tab is general. This allows you to choose the field type, uh, description for tool tips, which will show when you hover over the column header, uh, an option to set the default summary calculation when summaries are turned on. And there's a tab here for formatting. So in the formatting, we'll do things that were specifically set in the site preferences for that field type and this is a date so in this case we we'll give you options on how we should render the date just for this field you can explicitly decide to format the field or you can create rules for this field this is that same UI in here that we saw before that allows you to create edit and delete your rules a couple other tabs here that we might have in the future for defining some triggers or automation and defining permissions at the field level. And then we have an advanced tab here where we'll tuck some of the more advanced features such as opting to sort by another field and ensuring unique values per project for this field. So those are the screen designs that we've been working through and trying to figure out how we're going to implement the formatting inside of Shotgun. We'd love to hear your feedback.